What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at lead code problem number 620, not boring movies, marked as easy. Let's get straight into it. So the question states, a city opened a new cinema. Many people would like to go to this cinema. Cinema also gives out a poster indicating the movies, ratings and descriptions. Please write a SQL query to output movies with an odd numbered ID and a description that is not boring. Order the result by rating. So we have a few conditions. We only have one table called cinema with an ID, the movie name, a description and rating. The conditions we have is the movie to not be boring. So anything other than boring is acceptable. And we find boring in description, the third field. So this is what we can filter on. And then we also want to have an odd numbered ID. So in this case 1, 3 and 5 for the example. So we output movie with the ID 5 and 1 because they are not boring and they have an odd ID. So let's get into it. So let's start writing some code and also keep in mind to order by the result in the end because that's why ID 5 showed up between ID 4 because um, movie 5 has a higher rating. So we want to select all fields from that table cinema which we can see from the output, we want to output all fields. And there are some conditions. We mentioned the description not to be boring. So we want to filter on description and we can either write that as exclamation mark equals for not equals boring. We could also change that to use the word not depends on your SQL dialect you could even use bigger or smaller than signs but I prefer to use exclamation marks because I can easily change it from equals to not equals and um, that is also what I'm used from other programming languages so we have that part we can run the code right here and see that we get Still a lot of movies, none of them have as boring as description, so we want to introduce the second filter condition, which is an odd numbered ID. So we want to introduce our second condition being an odd numbered ID, and for that we need to use something called modulo, the modulo operation, which lets you divide a number by another number and then show you the reminder of that division. So if you were to divide 5 by 2, you would get 2 as a result, uh, because 4 is the biggest number that can be divided by 2 and then 1 would be the reminder because you can divide that 1 further down unless you would use decimal points and we are doing integer division here so we can only divide by full numbers and that's why we have the reminder of 1 and using that example I just gave you you can find out if a number is even or not by using that modular operation let's just write that out to make it here. So we introduce our second condition by introducing the modulo function on id and using 2. So that right here is the modulo operation using the percentage sign. You could use another function. I'm gonna write it out as mod the first number which is id and then the, the divisor 2. That is just another way of writing it. But what you're going to do is you're going to do that integer division and take the reminder and check that reminder to be 1. Because if there is a reminder when dividing by 2, you know it's an odd number. Because if it was an even number and you would divide by 2, there wouldn't be any reminder. So I'm going to set the condition to have a remainder of 1 for the division. So we know it's an odd number. And if you run that code, we should only get two movies being ID1, ID5. We still need to sort that by rating. But maybe to show that to you again, I'm going to select 5, modulo 2. And just run that code to get that output of 1. So we have a remainder of 1. If we use an even number like 4, we get a reminder of zero. So that's how that works for finding out which ID is even 
or odd. When you want to check whether a number is even or odd, you almost always use the module function in virtually any programming languages, but you could also use it for finding prime numbers, working with weekdays and dates, and so many more things, and so many different problems you can solve using modulo, so you could really try to keep that in mind when you're approaching a new problem that uses even or odd numbers or some kind of division. To introduce our filter conditions, all that's left to do is to order by rating, which we can do by using the same SQL keywords, and then by looking at the output, we can see that the highest rating is on top, so we want to filter descendingly, so we're gonna specify that here as well, because the default would be ascendingly, and that should be our solution. So if we submit that query, we get an accepted answer, and that's been it for this problem. I'm going to go through all LeetCode database problems, starting out with the easy ones and those that are available without LeetCode Premium so everyone can follow. And I hope you're going to stick around. Make sure to subscribe if you want to keep studying these problems with me. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.